Exchange traded funds, or ETFs, have risen in popularity among investors looking for a mutual fund alternative since its launch in 1993. Welcome back to our fiery channel, This Is Fire. Here we bring you wealth tips, financial advice, cryptocurrency information, and updates on the financial world that you should definitely catch up with. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. We make sure we only bring you the best content. In this video, we will delve into ETFs and what makes them superior investment vehicles. These ETFs could benefit both the institutions as well as the individual because they are a basket of assets meant to mimic an index with reduced management fees and better daily price visibility. So please share your thoughts in the comments below and watch till the end to find out how you can be financially independent, successful, and wealthy. ETFs and Diversification A single exchange-traded fund, ETF can provide exposure to a group of stocks, market segments, or styles. An ETF can follow a wide variety of stocks or even try to replicate the results of a country or a group of countries. An ETF is a form of investment that, unlike a stock, holds numerous underlying assets instead of just one. ETFs are a popular alternative for diversification because they contain a variety of assets. ETFs can hold a variety of investments, such as stocks, commodities, bonds, or a combination of them. An ETF can own hundreds or thousands of equities from a variety of industries, or it can be focused on a single area or industry. Some funds are solely focused on the United States, while others have a global outlook. Banking-focused ETFs, for example, would hold stocks from a variety of banks across the industry. ETFs trade like a stock. Despite the fact that the ETF provides diversity, it has the trading liquidity of equity. They can be bought on margin and sold short. In addition, they also have a dynamic price that changes throughout the day. An open-ended mutual fund, on the other hand, is priced at its net asset value at the end of the day. They also allow you to limit risk by trading futures and options in the same way you would a stock. You can quickly look up the approximate daily price change using the ticker symbol and compare it to the indexed sector or commodity because they move like stocks. Many stock websites, as well as mobile apps, have better interfaces for manipulating charts than commodity websites. ETFs have lower fees. ETFs, which are passively managed, have substantially lower expense ratios than mutual funds, which are often actively managed. What causes the expense ratio of a mutual fund to rise? Management fees, shareholder accounting expenditures at the fund level, service fees such as marketing, paying a board of directors, and load fees for sale and distribution are all examples of reasons why. For a variety of reasons, ETFs are less expensive than traditional mutual funds. To begin with, most ETFs are index funds, and buying an index is intrinsically less expensive than actively managing a portfolio. Indexed-based ETFs, on the other hand, are even less expensive than index mutual funds. Why? It all boils down to how mutual funds and exchange-traded funds interact with their investors. It's a lot easier with ETFs. When investors want to buy ETF shares, they simply place an order with their brokerage and wait for it to be processed. ETF trades are often made with other investors rather than with the fund company itself. That implies that the fund business doesn't have to process your order, provide you the same documentation, or even go into the market to place the order. Less work means lower costs, and that's why ETFs have lower fees. ETFs have immediately reinvested dividends. 
the dividends of the firms in an open-ended ETF are promptly reinvested, where index mutual funds reinvestment schedules can vary. There is one exception, however. Dividends in unit investment trust ETFs are not automatically reinvested, resulting in a dividend drag. Reinvesting the profits you receive from your assets is a great method to expand your portfolio without breaking the bank. While mutual funds make dividend reinvestment simple, reinvesting income from exchange-traded funds might be a little more difficult. Dividend reinvestment can be done manually by buying more shares with the money received from dividend payments or automatically so that the ETF enables it. Dividend reinvestment can be done manually or through dividend reinvestment plans or DRIPs. Automatic dividend refining for ETFs has the drawback of removing investors' ability to time the market. ETFs and limited capital gains tax. ETFs can save you money on taxes compared to mutual funds. ETFs and index funds, being passively managed portfolios, have lower capital gains than actively managed mutual funds. If a mutual fund manager sells securities for a profit, the manager is required to distribute capital gains to shareholders. This taxable payout is calculated based on the percentage of the holder's investment. If other mutual fund investors sell before the record date, the surviving holders split the capital gain and pay taxes on it, even if the fund as a whole lost value. ETFs can earn capital gains, which are normally delivered to the shareholders once a year, resulting in a taxable event. The ETFs occasionally experience capital gains as a result of one-time large transactions or unforeseen circumstances. ETFs act as pass-through conduits because they were formed as registered investment firms, and shareholders are liable for paying capital gains taxes. ETFs may not be able to escape all taxes, but they can avoid the tax burden that individual mutual fund investors may face. On assets sold by mutual funds, investors must pay capital gains tax. ETF providers, on the other hand, offer shares in kind, with authorized participants acting as a buffer between investors and trading-related tax events. We're almost done with the video. What do you think so far? Let us know in the comments. Before revealing the second half of this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and share FIRE with your friends. Spread the good news of financial independence and success. ETFs have lower discount or premium in price. ETF share prices are less likely to be greater or lower than their true value. ETFs trade at a price that is close to the price of the underlying securities throughout the day. So arbitrage will bring the price back in line if the price is much higher or lower than the net asset value. Unlike closed-ended index funds, ETFs trade depending on supply and demand, and market makers will reap price difference profits. Portfolio Diversification and Risk Management Investors who lack expertise in specific sectors, styles, industries, or countries may desire to quickly obtain portfolio exposure to such areas. ETF shares may be able to provide an investor with convenient exposure to a specific market segment due to the broad number of sector, style, industry, and nation classifications available. ETFs can now be found in almost every major asset class, commodity, and currency on the planet. Furthermore, novel new ETF forms encapsulate a specific investment or trading approach. For example, an investor can use ETFs to purchase or sell stock market volatility or invest in the world's greatest earning currencies on a regular basis. Sector Investing An ETF can be segmented into highly precise or targeted economic areas. This allows investors to diversify their holdings in a limited portion of the sector to which they seek exposure. A sector exchange-traded fund is a pooled investment vehicle that invests solely in the stocks and securities of a specific industry or sector, which is usually indicated in the fund's name. 
The sector ETF, for example, would track a representative basket of energy or technology equities. Availability in alternative investments. ETFs enable small investors to invest in alternative or even exotic investments that are not available in any other place. ETFs in commodities, hedges, and leveraged long and short positions in indices and sectors are among the new products available on a regular basis. Liquidity. ETFs are traded on market exchange and can be bought and sold at any time during the day, not just at the end of the day. When volatility is high, this can be a significant benefit to the trader. The number of units traded on exchange plus the liquidity of the individual assets in the ETF portfolio make up ETF liquidity. ETFs are open-ended, which means that units can be created or redeemed at any time in response to investor demand. Market makers who buy and sell ETFs throughout the day oversee this process. And that's the end of the video. We have shown and proven to you why ETFs are superior investment vehicles. Do you agree with the points we explained? Let us know in the comments. All right, guys, we're wrapping up today's video and we hope you enjoyed today's topic. Thanks for visiting our channel. This is FIRE, your channel on wealth tips, financial advice, cryptocurrency information, and updates on the financial world that you should definitely catch up with. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button and check out more videos like this one on the FIRE channel. Thanks for watching, and of course, see you in the next video.